Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to go ahead and talk about The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Um, I watched the episode last night. Tried to watch it again today. Had to run out of my apartment. Just got back. Um, so I have some notes, but everything else is going to come from up here. Um, let's just start out with Jackie. So Jackie, um, she goes to see um, a therapist. And they talk about her eating disorder. Um, Jackie has not, from what I understand from this episode, has not wanted to, I guess, call herself uh, anore anorexic um, or says that she has, you know, anorexia or has an eating disorder. Or, I don't think she ever just wanted to, like, call it for what it was, right? Um, um, she tells a story about when a guy, she was putting on lipstick and a guy told her basically that that's not going to help. And it's so crazy because, you know, people may, people who haven't, people who really probably, like the popular kids in high school, the, the kids who probably never went through anything, um, they wouldn't understand, but you just never... People who went through stuff in high school, even middle school, we that stuff can affect. That's what I'm, all I'm trying to say is stuff from middle school and high school can still affect you in your 30s, 40s, and 50s. It's just, it, it, and people don't realize how affected you could be by high school trauma or middle school trauma. Because some people just look at it as all those kids are being kids. But a lot of y'all kids out here are really damaging folks, okay? Um... She, you know, hasn't had ice cream with her kids. For what her, Evan says, when they go on vacation, they really don't like to stay any more than, she doesn't like to stay, she doesn't like to stay any more than four days because I guess it kind, it gets her off of her routine when it comes to her eating. It's just a complete mess. It's a complete hot mess. But I will say that uh, I said this last week, I saw Jackie on Watch What Happens Live the last, what, a week or two ago, I believe. Whenever I did my review, I had just saw her. I think she was on Watch What Happens Live the same night. Was it after the after the show? Anyway, she was on Watch What Happens Live recently. And Jackie looked really, really good. Like, it looked like to me she gained a couple, you know, a couple of pounds. Um, I mean, she's skinny as hell, so it's not like she's going to be fat in no time soon. Um, but... She looks good. She looked she looked good to me. Um, I don't know if it's weight gain. It looked like she gained weight to me. Um, or if it's just this was my TV. You know, they say on TV you pick up 10 pounds on TV. That's what they say, girl. Or something like that. Um, but shout out to Jackie. Shout out to Jackie. Um, hopefully she is doing great. Um, and the first person that well, the first person besides Jackie that popped in my head. Remember we were talking about well, some of you may not know, I was talking about Victoria Beckham. And how David Beckham with his fine so uh David Beckham came out and basically was doing an interview saying how Victoria, you know, has eaten the same thing for 25 years. And I didn't even think about it this way until I was watching a Divas review. Um, not review. She was talking when she was talking about uh the situation in her, one of her hot topics video too. And while I was watching her hot hot topics video, she was talking about how she believes that. Victoria Beckham has an eating disorder. And now with me watching Jackie, I definitely believe that Victoria Beckham has an eating disorder. Like, he was basically saying that for the last 25 years, Victoria has eaten the same thing. Grilled fish. He said 20 or 20 years. Grilled fish and veggies. That's it. Anyway, so shout out to Jackie, uh, shout out to um, Evan, you know, and, I, and it's so crazy because Evan is her husband, but I think all, Evan, Evan also noticed a long time ago that, and it's really nothing Evan can do, that it, there's really nothing he could do about the situation that Jackie was in. The only thing he could do is really support her. Like he really has to kind of take a back seat um, and let her pretty much drive the car because, again, there's really nothing he can do um, but just try to support her the best way he can. Um, if it probably wasn't for her, for him telling her that the kids notice that you don't eat or that you eat the same thing, she probably never would have even got any help. 
right? Um, anyways, who else? Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer went out on a date with Bill. <laughs> Jennifer was getting Bill together. I was team Jennifer. Jennifer, yes, girl. Like, <laughs> Bill, when I tell you Bill was looking so confused, like, basically, like, who was this bitch talking to? That's how he was looking like, oh, my God, who was this woman sitting in front of me talking? Like, Jennifer was basically telling him, you know, girl, what, what Jennifer was saying at the table, it... It felt like that's what she wanted. That that it felt like that's what she had been wanting to say for the longest, right? Or that's probably what she wanted to say when she first found out Bill which had cheated, but she let it go. Jennifer said, "Baby, if, she, if they get a divorce, she said something. What she say? If they get a divorce, honey, she she gonna walk away with half. Cheers to that. <laughs> yes. Girl, Bill was looking real confused." Like she said, I've always protected Bill. And she, I believe it. And the truth of the matter is, this is the thing. Even with Bill probably not being a aggressive, as far as like fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like Bill probably, does, probably you know, is not a fighter, you know. So I wouldn't expect him to be on here getting in these man faces, right? Because it's probably not how he moves. And then he's a doctor too. Um, but Jennifer has protected his image. For a very long time. And I would have thought that even in that incident at happened at their beach house, like <laughs> Bill, like, I don't know. It is kind of strange that Bill really just sat back. I'm not expecting him to get into the women's faces, but girl, when it started to look like it was about to <laughs> girl, you know them girls don't about to fight. But when it looked like it was about to be a physical altercation, girl, Bill just sat back with his drink in his hand smiling. He didn't try to break it up or nothing. I think Jennifer, even though she is who she is, I think she's starting to see how she has protected him and had his back and made sure that no one, you know, that it wasn't a stain on his name. And with what's been going on with the group, she realized that you ain't have my back like I want. Like it's felt as far as like I felt like you didn't have my back the way you should have had my have, had my back. Um, Marge and Teresa. I don't like Teresa, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and say I do not like Gia Judice. I think she's a little bitch. I honestly do. I think her attitude is stank. I think she's entitled. I think she's just like her mama. I think she's a liar, girl. The way that she went back and delivered. What had that that small exchange between her and Margaret, and Margaret was very respectful to her mama, like it was something completely different. I said, "Girl, you got you got it from your mama. You better the apple does not fall too far from the tree." Girl, you went there and told a complete lie. That is not how that happened between you and Marge. And quiet as it's kept, I don't even know why Gia is coming around these group of women. See, this is a problem that I'm having with Gia being in this group because if somebody get Gia together and cuss her little ass out. People are going to say that, oh, she's a child and you should watch how you talk to her. In my opinion, Gia should not be around. It, it would be different if there were other 20 and 21 year olds around. Like if Brooks was around. I don't know. Gia is the only one her age around. Like even when they had that party at Teresa's house, I felt like I, the only person I saw Gia's age was Gia. Like, why are you outside mingling with these grown 40 and 50 and 60 year old people? Take your ass in the house. Because if somebody, because if Gia says the wrong thing to somebody and somebody pops off at Gia, again, people are going to try to use the she's a kid card. Well, if she's a kid, I hate to sound like 1975, but if she's a child, she needs to stay in a child's place. Girl, you, you, you got, too, Gia got too much of this for me. She got too much of this for me. Um, I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick. Of, I'm sick of seeing her on my screen. I just don't like her. I don't like her mama. <laughs> um, I think Teresa is delusional. The stories, the things that she tells herself to get by is absolutely weird to me. She has convinced herself that Marge, I guess, is the reason why these girls have come forward with their stories about their experiences with Louie. Teresa is crazy. <laughs> It's not, it can't be that because Louie is now on a TV show 
that these people see him and now they're saying, oh my God, that's a dude who I dated and he did X, Y, and Z. That's just not possible. Morgan is behind the whole thing. This is the thing when it comes, what I, what I have noticed on this show. The two smartest people on the show, the smartest person on the show to me is Marge. As far as how she moves, it's like, even if you say that she's conniving and, you know, she plots and plans, you know you got to be a dummy like Jennifer. For you to sit there and break down in front of this woman's face after she you're quiet as it's kept, it's not Marge's fault that your husband cheated. But bitch, she, she didn't have no problem bringing it forward in front of the camera, okay? And for you to sit there and, like, I'm still baffled that Jennifer sat there in front of Marge and even hugged her outside. Girl. Like, Teresa's not smart. Like, she's never gonna win with Marge. Like, Marge literally got some shit, literally told the world that your husband cheated on you. And then at Dolores' house, girl, switch, did the switcheroo on you, right? Then brought Jackie and brought Jackie's husband back into it. And then Jackie started getting on your ass. It's like, girl, so the girls, like, Marge is smart. <laughs> Even when they were outside in the woods, and she was like, I'm always honest. I own them to my stuff, but let's talk about you and what she said. And then she brought Jennifer back into it. <laughs> like, girl. And so I, I, like, Teresa and Jennifer are like, when it comes to like, I guess the way they moved in this group, they're not the smartest to me. Um, and it's so crazy because the people who I, who I, from what I can see online, hate the, hate the most, I like the most. <laughs> like, my two favorite is Marge and Jackie. I like I like everybody except for Teresa. That's the only person I do not like. I don't like Teresa and I don't like Gia. <laughs> everybody else, I feel like they cool. Um, who else? Oh, Dolores. But Dolores, girl. My, <laughs> I'm, girl, girl, I'm, girl. I'm the last person. I'm the last person to talk about anybody and what they wear, okay? Because y'all know I wear the same thing when I get on this TV screen. This TV screen. I wear the same thing when I make these videos. But when I say Dolores, girl, like I got my favorite jackets, girl, Dolores got her favorite tights. When I tell you, mama gonna wear those star tights to death. <laughs> I said she ain't got no more tights. Girl, the only tights Dolores to wear. <laughs> She wore them tights, girl. I think the last episode she wore them when they was outside practicing, girl. And she wore them to the baseball game. But she switched, I think. Am I mad that they didn't wear Teresa's stuff? No. <laughs> First of all, girl, you saying you don't you're gonna donate some of the proceeds. How much is uh, what's some of the proceeds, okay? Is it five percent, two percent? Um, girl, we don't even fool with each other like that. It, it, could it come across as messed up because you know, this is, you know, Teresa's trying to give something to charity. Yeah. But I, at the end of the day, girl, we don't fool with each other. So I'm sorry. Gia, looking at Marge jumping down. I do not like that girl. I'm so, I do not, I do not like, like Gia is literally up there with like, like Phaedra, Portia, Girl, Melody, Michael, Martin. Like, I do not like that. I do, her attitude is so stank to me. And I, I just, I don't like, I just, I just do not like. Whenever she comes across my screen, I just roll my eyes. And she's dumb. Like, the simple fact that she even got on Watch What Happens Live and said out of her mouth that her mother shouldn't, shouldn't get a prenup. Girl, what? Some people are gonna say she's young, she's still learning. Well, baby, you need to learn off camera. Girl. Um, the baseball game was cute. Tiki came and saved the day. You know, Tiki is so cute to me with his old trifling cheating ass, allegedly. Um, I like Jennifer. People don't like Jennifer, but people usually don't like the new girls. That ain't nothing new. Um, 
Teresa, Louis is not off limits. The same way Evan wasn't off limits last year when you went to his birthday party, talking about a rumor you heard, even if it was true or not. Girl, Louis not off limits. Girl, Louis is all here. At least, with, at least for me, I didn't hear nothing about Evan cheating. That what I didn't see that in any of the headlines. It could have been, I just didn't see it. I've seen the headlines about Louis, sweetie. Girl, I've seen that. And I don't even keep with y'all bitches like that. So if I seen it, the other girls damn sure seen it. Anyways, girl, Jennifer, Teresa, Dolores with them tights. I'm so <laughs> um, Girl, that's it, girl. That's it. The episode was cute or whatever. Again, shout out to Jackie. Hopefully she's in a good a good space. A good space. Alright, bye y'all.